Hello everyone. Today we will solve Joule heating or ohmic heating in Comsol Multiphysics 5.5. So condition is this is the metallic body. Inside this metallic body there is a hole, and you can see that the voltage is applied on one side and other side is grounded. You can see physics over here, and upper and bottom side is insulated, and temperature. The both end is 300 Kelvin and uh, inside the hole is 300 Kelvin. So this is the physics. We will solve it in Comsol Multiphysics. Let's go to the Comsol Multiphysics. This is a model wizard. Here you can open it. Now we will select the 2D. go to the AC and DC our in we will solve electromagnetic heating and in this joule heating we will select it then add okay now we have add the joule heating next go to the study we will study the time dependent unsteady state done so this is the interface of oh, first we will create that geometry so click on geometry we will create a rectangular I will keep length and width one and one and center at the base build selection Next we will make a circle with the radius 0.1 and then build selection. Now we will do the, we will subtract this from this. So right click on geometry, boolean and partition, we will take the difference. The object to add we want this object to add and we want to subtract this object will select it so this part get removed the geometry part is completed next come to the parameter I have already uh, prepared the parameter for this so I will import that file load file go to desktop it is excel select this open it is on seat 1 so I will write here seat 1 and load all parameter get updated over here next I will go to the electric current okay so this is the equation here in conduction mode select the linearized Resist resistivity because I have uh, uh, given the value of resistivity so that you can if you know the conductivity you can uh, choose the conductivity but I I know the resistivity so I select this physics so as it is one okay this was the domain condition next come to the boundary condition electrical ins insulation automatically it has selected the all boundary but in our case these two here the we supply the voltage this one is the ground and upper and bo bottom was insulated so let's do this So right click on this 
or you can do the domain condition or boundary condition from here or instead here you directly go to the physics here is the boundary condition so we will apply the voltage here you can see the electrical potential so we will select the, this boundary for electrical potential and the value will be underscore zero next will be the ground from here I have chosen and this is the ground okay in case of heat transfer thermal conductivity so the initial value so we will give the ref as initial value next we will set up the surrounding temperature So this body, this this has the air temperature 400 Kelvin. After setting the boundary condition, we will select the mess, go to the mess and uh, based on physics control. So we, we can change the user control mess as well as physics control. For this example, I will select the physics control mess, I will go for finer. built all it automatically generate the mess for us based on the physics now we can see the how many sales we can see the statics statistics of this mess we can see that around 2000 elements are in this and it is a triangle 2084 triangles are there and 136 edges is there so you can see the statistics now go to the study before doing the study we want to also plot a point at location Point three build selected okay now we will we will see the importance of this point which I have just now created so we will go to study time dependent here we will select the range 10 to 2000 okay everything is done now just click on compute it will take few minutes to compute this okay so console has solved for us Now we can see the post result analysis if we want to see the temperature simply click on it 
here we will see the surface temperature right now it is given in kelvin we can change it to degree celsius we will change it to degree celsius and click on port so it changed to degree celsius okay this is temperature plot if we want to heat flux so we can see that also to do that simply right click on it and give the arrow surface okay click over here heat transfer in solid domain flux so our body body is solid so it will be conductive heat flux so simply select it okay so now click on plot see the arrow has generated we will change the color to blue and we can scale it so you can see that these are showing the flux heat flux now if we want to see the animation of this simulation so simply go to the animation click on player it will generate the animation for us right now number of frame is 25 so this we can increase the number of for example i will click increase to 200 then let's see let's play it now you can see it in very slow motion number of frame is very high so it will so each and every frame one by one so you can see clearly see after some time it reaches to steady state condition so if we want to check at what condition it reaches to steady state condition so we can do we can do that as well so if we want to check the weather at what time it reaches to steady state condition we will simply click on result 1d plot under the 1d plot we want point graph okay so the our point uh, initially i told you that uh, this why i have uh, kept this point because of this we want a temperature profile on on this particular point up because after some time it reaches to steady state condition so after some time after reaching that point the temperature will remain constant to, we want to check at what time it reaches constant so we simply click on it click on it and we will change the expression for temperature it automatically change the unit but we want in degree celsius so click degree celsius okay now click on plot after reaching the 1500 second the process become a steady state so you can see so this was all about the omic eating thank you